Each of these animals, a sponge and a jellyfish, is a member of the invertebrates, the animals without backbones. The jellyfish is one of the sac-like animals called celenterates. Another group of invertebrates are the sponges, called porifera. Porifera means pore bearer. Sponges are porous animals just one step beyond a colony of independent cells. Though some sponges live in fresh water, most species are found in the ocean. Sponges are found in various sizes and shapes. This common bath or horny sponge has a soft body and an outer protective covering. Here we can see the porous structure. After sponges are removed from the water, they are dried and then trimmed to prepare them for commercial use. This dry portion of the horny sponge is a kind of pliable skeleton. The skeleton is composed of fibers of a material called spongin. Spongin is a secretion of the cells. The skeleton of the calcareous sponge has no fibers. It is made up of needle-like limestone spikes called spicules. The skeleton of the siliceous sponge has glass-like spicules. A portion of this horny sponge has been cut away, so we may view the interior of the sponge body. The pores, located in the body wall of the sponge, are the openings of canals, which lead from the outer layer to the inner layer of cells. These canals lead to the gastral cavity, a large cavity located in the center of the sponge. When the moving flagella of the color cells of the inner layer create a current, water is drawn through the pores, through the canals, and into the gastral cavity. The water is forced out through the osculum, the opening at the top of the sponge. Releasing a few drops of dye shows us how the sponge draws in food particles and oxygen that are in the water. Waste products are expelled through the top. In contrast to these simple digestive processes, the reproductive processes are more complex, since sponges reproduce both sexually and asexually. Asexual reproduction occurs when buds grow on a sponge. Here a bud is growing on the parent animal. Sponges also reproduce asexually by regeneration. If a sponge is cut into pieces, each piece will continue to grow. Each piece of a horny sponge may be fastened to a rock to anchor it to the sea bottom. The piece will continue to grow into a new sponge. Sponges also reproduce sexually, as we'll see in this cross-section drawing. The spermatozoan, or sperm cell from one sponge, may enter another in the water current, passing into a canal. The sperm cell is captured by a holding cell. The ovum, or egg cell, enlarges after uniting with the sperm cell. The fertilized egg, or zygote, gradually develops into a free-swimming larva that moves out of the sponge. This is the microscopic sponge larva. When this larva settles down and becomes firmly attached, it grows into a young sponge. The sponge, with a basic structure of two layers of cells, is among the simplest of the many-celled animals. The structure of sponges enables them to carry on division of labor among their specialized cells, an important characteristic of the many-celled animals. Like the sponge, the jellyfish is also a many-celled invertebrate. This common jellyfish is an Aurelia. It is one of the group of sac-like animals called celenterates. 
the jellyfish swims by alternately relaxing and contracting its bell-shaped body. The water environment supports its soft, sac-like body. Located in the center of the animal is the internal cavity of a jellyfish, the gastrovascular cavity. Here, food enters by a four-cornered mouth, which we see as a very small opening. These four horseshoe-shaped bodies are the sexual organs. The jellyfish and other celenterates have two layers of cells. The outer layer, or ectoderm, is a protective covering. The inner layer, or endoderm, lines the internal cavity. At its sexual stage, the aurelia produces a ciliated larva called a planula. This grows into a polyp, a small body with tentacles. Now the aurelia enters its asexual stage. As the aurelia polyp feeds and grows, it buds off into small polyps like itself. In the winter season, the polyp develops constrictions until it resembles a series of discs on a stick. One by one, the disc-like polyps pinch off from the parent. Each one develops into an adult jellyfish. Other common cylinderates found in shallow marine water are the coral-forming animals known as coral polyps. These tiny tube-like animals, the corals, secrete limestone. Billions of corals over a long period of time secrete skeletal material of limestone, which builds up into coral reefs. Corals are strikingly beautiful and have various forms, colors, and shapes. The sea anemones are another class of cylenterates. This cross-section of an anemone shows its muscular sac-like body. The tentacles at the top thrust food into the gastrovascular cavity. By means of a basal disc, the anemone can slide about very slowly. Like most other cylenterates, anemones may reproduce sexually and asexually. Anemones are among the most highly specialized cylenterates living in salt water. The most common freshwater cylenterate is a tiny animal called a hydra. Like the sea anemone, the hydra has a gastrovascular cavity, two layers of cells, and a basal disc that anchors the animal. A hydra reproduces asexually by forming buds. A bud appears as a branch growing out from the side of the adult. Later, the bud separates from the parent and grows into a new hydra. Sexual reproduction occurs in autumn. The eggs in the female hydra are produced in the ovaries, small swellings along the body wall. In the testes of the male hydra, sperm cells develop. Like all cylenterates, the hydra has a simple nervous system. If a tentacle of an extended hydra is touched by a needle, all the tentacles and the body contract. Such a response is possible because the stimulus is carried by a nerve net, a series of nerve cells lying in the middle layer of the body. The hydra has a basic structure similar to that of other cylenterates a structure characterized mainly by a sac-like body. Sponges, on the other hand, are characterized by a porous structure. Nevertheless, these two groups of animals have four common characteristics. Inner and outer layers of cells, division of labor among the cells, and sexual reproduction as well as asexual reproduction. These aquatic animals, the sponges and the cylenterates, are the simplest of the multicellular animals. 
and represent two groups of invertebrates.